Once upon a time, long, long ago, there lived a young man in a small fishing village on the coast of that small island country. Iceland is a beautiful country with tall, majestic forests and long, unspoiled beaches. Every morning, the young man would rise early and go out for a walk through the awakening woods and then along the unending beaches. But one morning, he was surprised to hear music coming from somewhere near. Huh? I wonder where that's coming from. It sounded like a marching band. But what was it doing out there in such a lonely, isolated place? The music seemed to lead him on. He had to find out who was playing. So he followed the sound until it brought him to the edge of a large cave. Oh! It looks like some sort of party. I wonder if they'll let me join in, too. Huh? Well, what do we have here? Looks like seal skins. I wonder if they'd mind my trying this off. It seemed to be some sort of costume. The young man had tried it on and was surprised to find how soft and warm it was. The style was a little strange, but after Halloween, maybe he could make it into a jacket or vest. He just had to have it. And without even thinking about the skin's real owner, he just picked it up and made off with it. And when he got home, he was careful to hide the seal skin away in the trunk with all of his winter clothes. <laughs> But it didn't take long before he realized what he had done. He knew it was wrong to take something that belonged to another, and he began to worry. And so he decided to go back to the cave to see if the skin had been missed. Huh? Excuse me, is something the matter? Oh, it's terrible, and I know you'll never believe me, but I am not really as I seem. I'm really a fur seal, and once a year, all of my clan visit this cave for a festival of dancing and singing. We shed our skins at the entrance, but when we returned, mine was gone. We searched everywhere but could not find it. Someone must have stolen it, and without it, I can never return to the sea. Oh, what can I do? Here, this should keep you warm. Oh, thank you. The young man felt very badly about having taken her skin and he fully intended to confess and return it to her. But just as he was about to tell her, he realized that if he did, she would return to the sea and he would never see her again. You see, the young man had never met anyone as lovely and kind as this young girl, and he had already fallen in love with her. They were soon married and their lives could not have been happier. She was a wonderful wife and the young man found it hard to believe his good fortune. And as the days passed, the sealskin was all but forgotten. Soon they received the wonderful news that they were going to have a baby. And when their son was born, they held a christening that was attended by all their friends in the village. Life could not have been better for this new family. Time passed quickly, and the young man's guilt about stealing the seal skin was now forgotten. Certainly, the happiness they had found together meant more than the harm he had caused his wife by not letting her return to the sea. It's time for his bed now. Several years passed until one day. It was true that the young mother loved her family dearly, but still she could not put the seal skin and her home at sea completely out of her mind. So often she led her young son to the shore to teach him about the sea. If you put the shell to your ear, you can hear the sea. Yes, I can hear it. What? 
It's my family. Huh? Mother, stop! Mother, where are you going? Oh! oh I'm sorry. Oh, there, there. I won't leave you. Don't worry. But despite her love for her son, she could not help wanting someday to return to the sea. But without the seal skin, that would be impossible. And even if she were to learn where it was hidden, she could not open the trunk because her husband always kept the key on a chain around his neck, even while he slept. Goodbye, Father. Come home soon. Oh, why, what's this? It looks like my husband's key. He must have dropped it when he dressed. I wonder what it's to. Oh. The young wife had always wondered what was in that old trunk. As far as she knew, it had never been opened. Maybe this was its key. And so she placed it in the lock and turned. Oh, the seal skin. That means my husband was the thief, and he's kept it hidden from me all these years. But what can I do now? I've grown to love him, and I can't leave my son. Still, it's not right for me to remain here. My home is the sea. It's not fair for me to have to make such a choice. Yes, it was not fair for her to have to choose between her family and her true self. But it was a decision she would have to make. Her husband had been a foolish youngster that day he stole the skin. But since their marriage, he had grown to be a good father who loved his son. And she was sure the boy would be well taken care of, even if she did return to the sea. Never to see her son again? That was almost too much to ask. But the sound of the sea grew louder by the minute, and she knew that she could not resist its call forever. She would have to put on the seal skin and return. I'm sorry, my son. Please forgive me. It was later that day, and the unsuspecting father was on his way home with a fine catch of fish for dinner. Mommy's gone. Mommy. Oh, Mommy's gone. Oh, Father, where is Mommy? She's gone. Oh, no. Mommy, where did she go? No. Mother, where are you? Can you hear us? Hello, where are you? They looked up and down the beach and shouted Hello. until they were hoarse, but Hello. still they could find no sign of her. I always knew the day would come. It's all my fault. It was just as he'd feared. She had returned to the sea and her true home. The husband led his son home to wait, hoping against hope that she would return. In time, the husband had no choice but to go back to his work as a fisherman, because now he must work harder to support his son. But one day, soon thereafter, while fishing, Though they could not speak, he knew that this seal had to be his wife returned, hoping for even a glance at her family. And every day, her son would go to the seashore to listen to the sea and remember his mother. I can hear her. And each day thereafter, she would swim in as close as she dared to watch her son. The son did not know that the seal was really his mother, and he was startled to see the seal watching him, and it almost seemed crying his name. She was trying so hard to make him understand that his mother had not forgotten him, but alas, her cries could not be understood. I just know she'll come back. Mother, I'll always remember you. Mother! When she heard her son call out to her, she knew that he would never forget her. He would always be there waiting for her return. 
Where are you? Wait, don't go. Maybe you can help me find my mother. Wait. And so it was that the young boy kept his vigil, waiting for the day when his mother could return. Bye. <laughs>